All right, so to kind of go over what we've done this week, uh, we have a pinned item and it has, so the next episode document, so it'll, I guess I'm gonna change this pen every time. I didn't think about that. <laughs> um, but it, it'll be like a link to a, a document just for the next episode. And that's always gonna be in the same place. And this is where, when we decide on the content, we'll put it in there. And then, you know, people can post the suggested responses they wanna to talk to and then any extra data. Um, and then, uh this is just the next episode folder so if you have to store something else with that episode like if you want to do a slideshow and you want to store it in there you can throw it in there uh let's see need to learn to not say uh um so the show format and prep document i've updated uh so we have the same to talk about what what are kind of good arguments we want a tweet size quote um and then there's some other things some other people thought to think about when choosing the uh, an actual quote and we're talking about you know you can it doesn't have to be tweets so it could be a line out of a speech it's just when you post it in slack let's post the actual um quote to use rather than right. just a link to the speech anyway so for the show prep and this is looking like a lot of work so i was thinking on tuesday each panelist must confirm the availability for the panel so just say whether you're going to attend or not right um, which is funny because I think I had two people cancel the day after Tuesday, but you know. Um, and then also post suggested utterances, quotes for analysis is a block quote in Slack and a link to the source and any info on why. And then on Wednesday, we'll pick one. So what I want to do for that just for now, later we can do some things, but you repost your favorite. So you can use the Slack um, reply, which is what I did. Right. For the quote, let's see, where did I do? Nothing. Hope there's nothing. We want to keep private here. Um, so yeah, so I uh, I quoted a favorite. Okay, so I just did posted favorite, and then I quoted Steve's one, and then, so that's the one I was using. Um, uh and then so and then you check it um you put a little check box if if someone else did one that you want to do and then we can quickly see okay most of the people like that one let's go with it if you don't care you don't do anything and then on wednesday i'll create the show document and everything or whoever's doing it and uh, figure out the order of the panelists which i didn't put on the document i forgot that i think we're going to usually have steve go second to last uh just because he gets more technical so we want some people in front and behind um that just to right do a yeah little more um, just... entertaining um i mean he's funny too but he also yeah no I, brings I, out I, new I, words i think it makes sense yeah like you sort of you know have the the rest of us that aren't quite so formal about Academic. it but yeah no it's true it's like it, it, it steve is a good mix of technical like parts of the topic but then also entertaining yeah and then on Thursday, post responses fitting uh, the format that you'd like to include. And then Friday, we'll put the links in the show uh, document. Oh, so also if you're gonna promote something, you know, so, you know, at the end of the thing, if you wanted to promote, uh, you know, Game B or, uh, you know, like we talked about our recording on Facebook last time, we could have posted a link to that. So you just put that in the, uh, by Friday. So we have all the, in the in the document for that episode right. um yeah so that's basically it and then i was thinking of doing the intro to the show so i have that written out of what i would say you might read through this but one of the changes is i want to introduce each of us so what would you like your intro to be um i mean i guess adriel briscoe so we can just do a of conferati I guess. And you could put two. I mean, Steve's pretty long. ATI, I don't remember how yeah. to spell it. Yeah, that's right. Kind of Confrati. I'm wondering if, if like, I might want to on mine say Goalie bot, uh, uh, a friendly robot to help us, you know, give some explanation. 
Because right, if they I just hear it, they not need. Now we'll the, also the, have the one line in intro. There. Yeah, so we, we might go a little bit longer on those, but, but that'll work for now. Yeah, um, I think, think that's good. So what I'll do is uh, I'll do uh, today's argument is from blank, and they say, so, you know, for this one, I'd say is from Sarah Penzior, which I'm always going to be pronouncing names wrong. I should just put a disclaimer on, <laughs> this, on the screen, mispronunciation, mispronunciation, or something like that, uh, you know, and then I'd kind of read the quote and show it on the screen. And then um, and then I would say Adriel Briscoe of, uh, of Conferati, uh, founder of Conferati. What is your first impression of this argument? So it'd be kind of like, um, I don't know if you watch those Sunday morning political shows, but he'll call someone out, introduce them, and then just get kind of quick feedback. And this would just be your first thing, and it's meant to be short. Right. And then I would go to... You know Tim from uh, Kanaka Debate Lab. What's your yeah? You know, and then I'd just say that, and then I'd just probably just say, you know, Steve from yeah. And then right. so everyone gives their first impressions. I see. And and then that would just be like the first time you're really introducing that person for the episode, where you'd be like, Steve, associate professor of rhetoric at, at St. John's University. What do you think of blah, blah blah? And then after that, every time it would just be Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I then also for the first sense. person, I'll, I'll say what's your impression of this argument or something like that? And the second right. one, I'm just going to say, I might just say, what's your impression? And the third person, I'm just going to say their name and title because and, right. people don't need the repeating. Right. Um, yeah, and then then we'll kind of go around and so I'll say, you know, um, Adriel, analyze this argument for us, you know, and then you would go and then say, Tim, what's your analysis? And then I'd just say, and you know, and Steve, and then right, Steve I see. So like the first person you ask them a more sort of like full question, the next person you sort of ask them a fragment and then the third person after you're just like, yeah, ditto, <laughs> same question. Yeah. And I think when it comes to your turn, you know, you could, you could say, oh, and you know, building on what Steve said, or I disagree with what Steve said or something like that. Right. And after this one, you know, I think if anyone has any comments and stuff, you could just jump in after the last person. Right. Um, okay. And then, and then depending on time, you know, I'm not even sure that we're going to have time for responses if we want to keep it around 30 minutes. I mean, we might record for an hour and edit it down at some point, right. but at some point we could pull up the first response and then say, or I would, I would say, you know, I would say, Adrian, what's the response to this argument you found interesting? And then, the, then you would probably, you know, we'd probably have it prepped. So I'd probably bring it up and you'd talk about that response or whoever has some. Uh, and then I was thinking we'd have one round rephrasing the main argument. If we, I don't know if we really need this or if it already would have been said earlier, but how would you, you know, how would you make this a winning argument? And that's if we keep the title winning argument. If, well, I don't know. If even if it's argument autopsy, it still might be a good way to phrase it. Um, you know, what, what would, how would you rephrase the main thing? And then, uh, and then we'd say, what's your, what's the winning response? So, or what, what would be a winning response? And they could either say their own, or you could say, you know, one that we found. Right. And then maybe yeah. we'd just do funniest response. <laughs> I and mean, then, that's, I think that's definitely going to be an area where I'll end up repeating m m myself a lot, simply because like I think I gave almost the, the, this exact same answer word for word, and it's probably the one I give her this. It's like, well, it, it depends what her goals were. If her goals were to 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 get attention and get retweets, which I think that's what her goal mm -hmm. actually was, which which was the same thing with Ted Cruz. Well, then she got that right because we're talking about yeah. it. She got she got retweet. She got she got like. Nope. She got yeah. attention, and it probably makes sense in the overall you know theme of her rhetoric or argument. So odds are she probably shouldn't change anything. Yeah, and we might be talking talk, talk, talk about why what winning responses are. Because I think also what we want to do is we want to teach proper rhetoric. So these people are not taking into account the negative implications of them shooting for likes and stuff like that. Right. So when I kind of say winning argument is forget their goals. What should have their goals been? Or and then how would they achieve it? Because I see we we know their goals are wrong. Right. So uh, like in, most in, a, in a perfect world where we, we aren't saying like should this person have typed what they typed at the computer in the the box that, that they were typing in? It's more in a in a world that's properly set up for this kind of a debate. How did this debate happen? 
yeah how, how would have it happened or or right. you know how can they you know let's let's say yeah they they want to be reelected and they want uh they want more followers but let's say also they weighed just as important the epistemic commons or our divisiveness in the country let's say if they weighed that along if they took that to consideration at the same weight of everything else what would they say to make that a winning argument to achieve all of those or you know i'd probably be more passionate that it's you know, it'd be better to set a good example than to be elect reelected again. But I could be wrong about that. But whatever one you think would be best for the world, and I guess maybe winning arguments. Maybe this is kind of like an om omni win. What would be the best omni win argument to where everyone benefits? Right. Yeah. But people that, don't know what omni win means outside of game B. But that's kind of um, that. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Not just how do they get their goals, but um, how right, can, like, how can uh, we take uh, everything into account? How could this interaction be better for like actually convincing people and actually sort of moving the needle to some extent and not just yelling into your own echo chamber? Yeah, yeah. And then the funniest response uh, <laughs> would be fun. And then we get to do our announcements, 20 seconds to promote anything you want. And then closing, I've got a quote of how, I, how I'm thinking to say it so I don't have to remember it on the spot. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Cool. So yeah, you're you're kind of okay with trying that format out, see how it works? Yeah, no, I like that. That's a bit more structured. And I think it will be interesting to find out how much I'm able to say the same thing with different words. Because yeah, I think there's yeah. going to end up being a lot of that. Although I guess to to be fair, there's a decent chance that like Steve will end up saying the, the same things again and again, you know, with bigger yeah. words. But like if he's seeing the, the same trends of the same, you know, four or five mistakes being made across everyone, he's probably going to end up with the same. Oh, here's this again. Yeah. 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 And so he's. I say. I even told him just have some pre-prep slides for each of the different um, kind of things, so you could just pop it up and remind people um right uh, even if you're repeating yourself it doesn't have to be customized per show um, yeah because i don't know that we're going to have hardcore listeners so you know it's funny because so i don't know if you got any feedback about it but some of the feedback i got was um well my wife said i'm more interesting than a spreadsheet um but actually that wasn't about the show that was just in general <laughs> 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 but she did say she would watch it through obligation so it's okay, not that bad, right? Um, she probably wouldn't do it if I wasn't on the show, though. So. Right. Um, other people said they liked that we're not focusing on the topic, but on the meta conversation of how they're talking about the topic and how to. Right. So they, that did hit home. And a lot of people said they'd never seen anyone else do that. Um, so that's <laughs> oh. encouraging. But both is and, and is it is it, it, it encouraging yeah. for us? It's very disheartening for the media industry to be like, "Wow, people who are impartial, holy <laughs> shit!" Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's not right. supposed to be, you know, or trying to be impartial, or yeah. at least stating yeah, exactly. our biases. Yeah, yeah it's it'll be yeah. So I think that is I think that is interesting enough. Uh, and then several other people said they liked it. I still don't know whether they'd really watch it or not. Um, so the feedback's not like this is obvious thing to do. Um, and it's taken a little bit more time than I wanted, but I still think it's worth trying a couple more times um, and seeing if we can, and what I might even do is the next one where we kind of get together and do it, I might really go through and make a polished version, like spend several days editing it. Right, like actually I, see once we, I would personally recommend until we, at, get at least like two try like you know try mm -hmm. your your template once say like okay yeah. is that good did it seem you know are there any final tweaks if there's any major tweaks then then even still wait more but if they're like you know what just that one question i'm gonna change the wording and it's just small tweaks then the next one i'd say it's probably good to chop that one up and yeah try to make it as polished and as do possible. a highly polished version see if we get slightly better results from that but then we have to decide are we can continue that polished level um i'm almost thinking that we put up a patreon and if you want the highly edited one right. <laughs> you join the patreon yeah, that might i kind of wonder if that would end up being an interesting like patreon perk where it's like hey right. 
you know, with no patrons, we're going to put out one Polish, you know, we're going to do weekly episodes, but like maybe the Polish thing goes on the Patreon channel. And we're like, if you want more of these polished ones that yeah. people will, 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 will need to sign up for. Which is funny because it's usually the opposite. The Patreon gets the behind the scenes and the highlight polish goes out to everyone. But it could also be some of the Patreons also have like goal levels. So if we get X dollars a month in Patreon thing, then we will hire an editor or hire right. a video editor. So yeah, so that'll, that'll be one of the interesting ideas. So, so yeah, so I think we'll probably do two more and then, you know, have another decision point to say yep. um, if, you know, who wants to continue with it um, and how much more time we want to put into it or change the format. I mean, yeah, if we try out this format, it just sucks, then we may have to go back to the drawing board. But yeah, I think it has a good chance. Cool. Yeah, I think it's an interesting mix. I think it'll be up to, you know, if we can keep the conversation interesting enough. Yeah. Because I do think, yeah, there's a, a dire lack of like actual um i just I just said the word not impersonal uh yeah uh, unbiased unbiased sort of. there we go yeah it's like or at least and, yeah people looking at how they communicate rather than the, right uh, true yeah like i guess non-biased rather than unbiased because we're like acknowledging yeah. our biases and not like ha ha hiding them and, and, and sneaking them in through the back door like most media we're like yeah. hey i think x but if we ignore that then yeah. the conversation means this yeah and they can decide whether we were able to cancel out our bias or not <laughs> right and <laughs> even then as long as we're being honest about it then it's like oh, okay well if that person you know really doesn't like that person and believes this truly then maybe i'll take their you know yeah they're sitting with a grain of salt because I'm able to because they were being clear that oh I'm very biased on this. Yeah, I didn't get any feedback from my Republican friend when I said that I said I thought lying Ted on that first one, but then I came back and said realized he was actually technically accurate. <laughs> so I don't know if that redeemed me for saying lying Ted or not. I don't know. Well, and it's really weird because like saying somebody is a re re republican now you're like okay but, but are they a trump republican or a yeah. non-trump re republican this Cause... one actually was a trump and a very yeah, so big he, fan of he, he uh, probably and... thought it was great that you said lying ted then <laughs> <laughs> well no well so he's he's he he's pro-trump and pro ted cruz so he's not okay he, he didn't take the anti Still, interesting because a lot of the pro trumpers in my opinion, still like the regular Republicans. They just like how Trump put them in their place. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> it's like it's like knowing a prize fighter. You like them all, but when they get a good punch, in, hey. Right. Like <laughs> um, which the Democrats are very good at doing. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording.